In 1959, a Fiat 500 named Luigi was built in Italy and grew up in the small village of Carsoli near Porto Corsa with his mom and his aunt and uncle Topolino. His uncle traveled to America to start his own tire shop, Casadello Tires, in Radiator Springs. Luigi moved to America to work for his uncle at his tire shop. He was sad to leave Italy but was excited to be moving to Radiator Springs. While on the boat to America, Luigi was talking about Ferraris with a fellow passenger when an Alza Tudo forklift named Guido joined in. Guido was going to America to pursue his dream of working in a real racing pit crew. Guido could understand English but was only able to say two words in English, Ferrari and pit stop. They became fast friends. And besides their shared love of Ferraris and racing, Guido was also great at helping the long hours on the trip go by quickly. When the seas got rough, they were the only two passengers who didn't get seasick. After the long voyage, they arrived in New York City. The two took a tour of the city, visiting Central Park, the Chrysler Building, the Stock Car Exchange, and Timing Belt Square. Guido even changed the tire of a taxi cab in an outstanding time of 2.5 seconds. Luigi was impressed and asked Guido if he wanted to work for his uncle. Guido agreed and they started the long trip to Radiator Springs. They took the scenic route and visited Niagara Falls first. When they visited Mount Rush Hour, they were disappointed that there weren't any Ferraris carved into the stone. They visited the Golden Gate Bridge next, then the Grand Canyon. Guido had one last request before they headed to their final destination, to see the glitz and glamour of Hollywood. They kept a constant eye out for Ferraris, but didn't see any. When they finally reached Carburetor County, the two stopped to watch the sunrise go over the butte. Suddenly, a Ferrari zoomed by, and the friends started after it, their grills hanging open in shock. When they got to Radiator Springs, Uncle Topolino was impressed to hear how fast Guido could change tires. Luigi was worried that Guido might feel homesick, but Guido built a giant tire tower in a matter of seconds and smiled, feeling right at home. While working for Luigi's uncle, Luigi and Guido learned all they needed to know about tires. Uncle Topolino would later move back to Italy and leave the two to run the store in Radiator Springs, and they've been there ever since. Subscribe for more videos about the world of cars. Thanks for watching.